projection of planes planes have only two dimensions length and breadth and it doesn't have any thickness or we can say it has negligible thickness so we shall study the planes and their projection these are the types of planes the basic one is perpendicular planes and oblique planes so we start with the first one plane perpendicular to both the reference planes the first one the plane is perpendicular to both the reference plane that is hp and bp so here in the first diagram we can see we have placed a rectangular plane abcd which is perpendicular to both the reference plane we can see that side ad and side bc are perpendicular to the horizontal plane whereas side ab and side dc are perpendicular to the vertical plane so when we extend all these four points on vertical plane and horizontal plane we can see that point a and point b are extended and when it gets projected it gets projected on a single point that is point a dash b dash whereas when we extend point d c these two points comes at a single point and when connecting these two points we get a line and this is the front view which is in the vertical plane so we can see that this line is in the vertical plane and it is perpendicular to the x y line and perpendicular to the horizontal plane whereas when we look from the top view the point a and point d they gets projected on a single point whereas point b and point c gets projected on a single point and when connecting these two points we get a straight line that is top view in the horizontal plane now converting this pictorial view into orthographic view first we draw the reference line xy the vertical plane is above xy line and horizontal plane below xy line so here we have already projected front view and top view so we can see in the vertical plane the vertical line is the front view so we can just measure the distance from reference line xy till point cd and we will measure the same distance here from xy line till point cd and we can start drawing a vertical line that is front view similarly we can draw the top view measuring the distance from reference line to the starting point so this is the top view line a d or line d c so we can draw the top view here which is a plane perpendicular to the x y line you can read the description here next the plane perpendicular to one plane that is horizontal plane and parallel to the vertical plane so here in this example we have placed a triangular plane between these two principal planes such that this triangular plane is parallel to the vertical plane and it is perpendicular to the horizontal plane so now we will extend all these points on the principal planes so by extending point a b and c on vertical plane and horizontal plane we can see that point a b and c when they get projected on the vertical plane we can see we get a triangle here such that the base of the triangle bc is parallel to the xy line so we get the front view which is triangle a dash b dash and c dash in the vertical plane then when we look from the top view the point a b and c they get projected on the horizontal plane such that they lie in a same line so point b point a and point c projecting these points we get a straight line that is top view in the horizontal plane so now we can draw this projection on orthographic view so here we can see we have already projected triangle 
ABC in the vertical plane, that is front view. So we get the front view. We can start drawing the front view by starting from point B, measuring a distance from point B till reference line. We will use this dimension and copy here, measuring from X, Y line till B dash. And we can start from here, drawing a straight line, line BC, which is parallel to X, Y line. And then we draw the triangle. So we get the front view. Then we project point A, B, and C in the horizontal plane by using vertical lines. And then we draw the top view by measuring the distance from reference line till point B. So we use the same distance here from X, Y line till point B. And then we draw a straight line, line parallel to X, Y line. So we get the top view. Next, the plane is perpendicular to vertical plane and parallel to horizontal plane. Here we have placed a rectangular plane, which is parallel to the horizontal plane and perpendicular to the vertical plane. You can see here line AD and line BC are perpendicular to the vertical plane. And all these four points, when they are extended on horizontal plane, so you can see the all the distance are equal distance from the horizontal plane, which shows that this plane is parallel to the horizontal plane. So on extending all these points on the two principal planes, we can see that point A and point D gets projected on vertical plane at a single point. Then point B and point C gets projected on the vertical plane at a single point. Then connecting these two points, we get a straight line that is front view in the vertical plane. Now, when we look from the top view, we can see that point A, B, C, D gets projected on the horizontal plane. And connecting these four points, we get a, a rectangle, which is the top view in the horizontal plane. Then converting this pictorial view into orthographic view, we, we already have the front view that is a straight line, line AB or line DC, which is parallel to XY line. So we will first measure the distance of point A from reference line XY, and we will copy this dimension here, measuring from reference line till point A. And then we draw a straight line parallel to reference line XY. So we get the front view here line A dash B dash, which is overlapped by line D dash C dash. Then for the top view, we can see we have already drawn a rectangle here in the top view. So we will measure the distance of point D from reference line. And we will copy this dimension in the orthographic view. We will measure from reference line till point D. And we draw a rectangle such that side DC is parallel to X following. So we get the top view here. Next is the plane is perpendicular to HP and inclined to vertical plane. Here we have placed a rectangular plane such that the plane is perpendicular to horizontal plane. As we see here, line A dash and side BC these two lines are perpendicular to the horizontal plane, whereas the side DC is inclined at an angle of phi with vertical plane. So on extending all the points of this rectangle on vertical and horizontal plane, we can see that for front view, looking from the front view, A, B, C, B, these four points gets projected on the vertical plane and connecting these four points, we get a rectangle A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash. On looking from top view, we can see that point B and point C, they come together and gets projected on horizontal plane at a same place. And point A and point D gets projected on horizontal plane at the same place. So on connecting these two points, we get a line 
which is inclined to the vertical plane or we can say this line is inclined to the reference line. So we get the top view here as inclined line and we get front view a rectangle. Now drawing this on orthographic view, we can see that we need to draw a rectangle in the front view. So measuring a distance of a dash till reference line x, y, we will use this dimension and measure the same dimension here from x, y line till a dash. And then we draw a straight line parallel to x, y line and we draw the side of rectangle a, b. Then we close this rectangle to get front view. Then the top view is an inclined line inclined at an angle of phi. So we can draw top view here by measuring the distance from point B till the reference line and measuring the distance of point A till reference line. And we copy the same distance here and we get the top view as inclined line. Also read the description mentioned here. Next, the plane is perpendicular to vertical plane and inclined to horizontal plane. We have placed a plane which is inclined at an angle of theta to horizontal plane and perpendicular to vertical plane. Since we can see side AD and side BC are perpendicular to vertical plane. Now on extending all these four points on vertical plane and horizontal plane, we can see that looking from the front view, B and C are extended and gets projected on the vertical plane on the same point. Similarly, point A and point D gets projected on vertical plane at same place. Connecting these two points, we get front view, which is an inclined line in vertical plane. Now we look from top view, these four points gets projected on the horizontal plane and we get a rectangle in the top view. Now drawing this on orthographic view, we can see that front view is an inclined line. So we just measure the distance of point B from reference line and distance of point A from reference line. And we need to just copy this dimension here, measuring from x, y line till point A comma D and from reference line till point B comma C. So we get front view here as inclined line. Then for top view, we have a rectangle in the horizontal plane. So we measure a distance of point D from reference line and distance of point C from reference line. And we use this same distance here, measuring from x, y line till point D and from x, y line till point C. Then we draw a straight line parallel to x, y line. Then we complete the rectangle and we get the top view. Last one is the plane is inclined to both the principal planes. We have placed a circular plane here. And we can see that diagonal AB, when it is extended, this diagonal is inclined at an angle of theta. And the other diagonal, which is projected on the vertical plane, we can see that this is inclined at an angle of phi with respect to the vertical plane. So in this example, the plane is inclined to both the reference plane. So when we extend, the points on vertical plane and horizontal plane, we can see that on extending the plane, looking from the front view, we get an ellipse in the vertical plane. And also when we look from the top view and we project this plane on the horizontal plane, we get another ellipse on the horizontal plane, which is the top view. Since this is a circular plate and when we incline a circular plate, it gets compressed or the dimension gets reduced and we get an ellipse in front view and top view. So in this orthographic view, 
we have drawn the final stage of the orthographic view. We must know that in oblique planes, the solution of the question is solved in three different stages. First, we keep the plane in its initial position. Then in the second stage, we incline it to vertical plane or horizontal plane. Then in the final stage, we incline the plane to another plane. So the final result we get here is that in both the planes or in both the views, we get the surface of the plane. These are the points that we must remember while solving the problems.